Hey guys, just gonna do a little video on my chicks are outside. I'm in a different room. It's enclosed and it's outside. But they still got their heat lamp. Um we got the water and feeder. We for sure have four hens and two males. So yeah. And I did make a video on sexting new chicks. Did make a video on the sexting chicken stuff. Goodbye guys. Um, I wanted to do a little something on my feeder. Sounds dumb. So I have a little twist ties because I'm going to raise it here in the next. They can just get into it too easy. They get like to get into it. I have not had them poop in it yet. Or anything. So that's one good thing. So that's what I'm kind of happy about. Let me take off. I have little just twist ties and all you can do is just pop them out. All you got to do is pop them out. I don't care if they fall off. And I made this on the dimensions of the black Australorps, but the New Hampshire Reds seem to do fine. Easy, guys. Sorry. Um, rabbits are acting dumb. Oh, okay, my light's on. Sorry. Um, um, it's about, I would say, about two, one and a half open this way and about two inches that way. One and a half up, and it's kind of unlevel here, as you can tell. It's not the best. Um, and there's not exactly those. Some of these are a little smaller, like that one or something. I'm going to get that straightened out, and then I'll soon, like, lift it. So, yeah, it's just a simple, easy butter bowl. Or, say you'd happen to buy sour cream from a store, or butter. Um, we have lots of these, so any chance that, right, yeah, let me zoom up because I don't want to freak them out is an actually a sour cream bowl which i zoomed up a little too much that's a sour cream bowl that is actually our i know said it but it's a sour cream bowl out of or not or no yogurt bowl yeah so yeah and it's just as simple as that it was basically cheap free to me because my parents bought the butter so yeah just that simply that sorry lights flickering it's acting funny um Whoa, 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 hold on, just a second. Sorry, bulbs were a little loose. Still probably are. Um, or they're just going dead, probably. Just kind of pushed on it. A little unit. Um, but yeah, just a simple feeder. You don't, you can go to the farm store and go buy a couple chicks. Hey, I'm going to try to homestead or get a couple eggs from these four hens with these New Hampshire Reds, if I would, um, say I'd get a consecutive egg lay from each hen for four weeks, four, just four, four hens, I, if they would lay an egg every day, I would get 112 eggs a month for 30 days, so that is four weeks. Yeah, something to that effect, I think, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm acting funny. Um, so yeah, so these four hens can produce 112 eggs in a month. This breed doesn't get an excellent like a uh, black Australorp does, but they are very good. One breed that is good for broodiness, but not eggs, is a Buff Orpington. You, would, I've hear, I've heard that so many times. That's what I wanted to get from Meyer Half Tree to start out with. But I got mine from the farm store. And while I'm on here, which this will be like a five minute, six minute video, um, is nice little hen. Um, put her back in there. These, where these white pieces of paper are, you will get coupons. Maybe some maybe if you have a tractor supply. They had pullets, which is that kind of bird, red pullets, featured breed, Cornish rocks, assorted bantams, and ducks. And right here, it has a coupon for, like, Chicken Delight, which I wouldn't really care about. Maybe one of these days. And any kind from a 25 to 50 pound, I don't know how big they go, but they're layer pellets. And I'll put in the description box of what kinds they do. Um, and I'll tell you how big those bags can get and how small they can. And they give you $2 off, and it's for making them lay. So we might get some of that. I mainly want to raise mine. Sounds dumb, but off bugs not bugs but 
just them foraging. I want them to have that. I don't want them to stay on my horse's pen because it gets really muddy easy. So I want them to be able to, um, want them to, um, be able to find their own food. So one day, oh no, we're out, or it dumped in a big heavy windstorm. I don't want to be that person that's, sorry, I'm putting this back together. I don't want to be that dumb person that's got to go out and, um, even table scraps. I just want them to know how to find their own food. And if they don't, it's okay feeding them supplement foods, I would say. I think all I'm going to buy for these hens and that rooster are mainly, because a lot of this, these are for me too, because they're a bit, they're a decent sized bird, is, um, here. Sorry, I'm just fixing this feeder. Um, is, um, I want them to basically be self-reliant to a way that their body is sort of self-sufficient, where they don't got to rely on that stuff from the um, feed store. They don't have to rely on this Dorfler stuff. I don't want them always to be hooked on that where they cannot be taken off. I always, I want mine to be almost not free range, but be able to have a pen where they're constantly grass because we live by a very busy road and I don't want chickens running around constantly. I wouldn't bother it, but we have a dog, we have a cat, and I know the cat would mess with them, the dog for sure would mess with them, so I want them enclosed somewhere where they can get their own food. And that's just my say on chickens. Other people can be like, well, I'm sorry, but I enjoy, I won't give you another look, I'm trying to fix the other scooter stuff. Um, I enjoy giving, getting them from the farm store, and I have nothing wrong with that. They're actually cheap. I went to that Meyer Hatchery to get three. Three black Australorps was 40 bucks. And I told my mom, and she's like, E. And they wouldn't even come till about May. And if these guys, I aged them, it would be in about a week or two. I'm not exactly sure. I could be wrong. But we could be getting eggs in July. But with them, we'd be getting them in September. It takes a hint about 18 weeks to lay or something to that effect. Yeah. So yeah, and it's like, really? We have to wait that long and that much money, almost $50, for three chickens. And that doesn't include feed, tub, we bought the bulbs for the rabbits and stuff, and what we got the heat lamp for using the barley heat lamp. And for that, it's like, that's ridiculous. I think it is. And that's why I just said, okay, I give up. I'm like, I don't give up, but I give up going to Meyer Hatchery these two out there these are just a female and a male um i give up going there you know i ain't going to go to somewhere that is that expensive that's just too much so yeah there's these are so pretty like some of the males are really dark in the head i don't know if that camera will even get it maybe and then like they're very dark as you can tell it looks almost black but when you look at the females they're dark but they're not quite that dark i want these I have two males. I don't know if I'm going to butcher them or not. If I said in the little bit of the video, put her back. It's pecking my finger. Get the other male. Okay, so that's just my say on how I, how a nice flock of chickens could be raised. And people could have other thoughts about it. But I think that's good. I think that's a great way to raise chickens. So yeah, I'll do a rabbit video here in a little bit. A few days or something. So yeah, that's just about my say, okay?